they took a test and it came back stage three, you know, triple negative breast cancer. She's 23. She should not have cancer at 23. Oh, Lindsay is a true purple Ravens fan. It's in her blood. I mean, Baltimore is home. We actually heard about your story. I mean, just this incredible battle that you have been facing lately. And we know we've heard you got a big, you know, kind of support team around you, but you know, we want you to know that we're here too. And, and I actually have a friend of mine that I've brought um, on today to help to know that we're cheering you on as well. Hey, Lindsay, Justin Tucker here. Hi. Wanted to say thank you for being a fan of ours. We heard your story. Uh, we know the battle that you're going through. And uh, we just want to let you know that we're thinking about you. We're praying for you and your family. It means the world. It really does. Lindsay was attending college at University of Cincinnati at the Music Conservatory for sound design. She felt a lump and they took a test and it came back stage three, you know, triple negative breast cancer. They immediately started chemo on her. She went through the double mastectomy, six hour surgery, and literally when she opened her eyes and could focus, she wanted her Raven scarf on, and she told the nurse, she goes, Raven's now. An hour out of a double mastectomy, the first thing, not water, not food, she wanted to see her guys on TV. That's what she wanted. It looks like you've got a uh, great support system around you. That's really Oh my cool. gosh, I've got a crazy great support system. Uh, my mom dropped everything to come out here and be with me. Uh, and then my aunt back in Maryland has been rooting for me, has been getting the message out there in all her crazy style. I am part of the high-risk group. I can't travel, so I couldn't go to Cincinnati to be with her. It's 511 miles from my front door to her hospital. I am the walking fool for Lindsay's breast cancer battle. I walk Liberty Road. I have signs up and down the road. So I have been walking five miles every other day, holding signs, trying to get people to know the importance of self-checks. I dress up in funny costumes because I want people to notice. And if they notice that I'm wearing a funny costume, they can see the message, testing, self-checks. Do your checks. It saves lives. You know, it doesn't just affect me. It affects, uh, I think, 3.5 million women a year. So I'm one of many. Justin Tucker for the winner from 49 yards. And the kick is good. And the Ravens take down the 49ers. Does it look as far as it really is when you're kicking it from over 50 yards? Because it looks <laughs> hella far from here. <laughs> Sometimes it seems a lot farther than not. Hey, at the end of the day, I've got, just like you do, I've got the best support system that I could possibly wish for. And I know no matter what happens, like they've got my back. Whenever you're kicking, we're always right there by the TV, fingers crossed. So to know <laughs> that you're, you're right behind me, fingers crossed too, with all that good energy, it means a lot with everyone's support and she feels everybody's prayers and support and she feels the ravens even though they're out there playing she knows hey they're playing for me that's what's really given her the strength to go on baltimore community although we can't have you here in person this year we certainly have you represented well in the stands uh this sunday uh, Yay! <laughs> in a in a slightly different way but nonetheless you'll still be there cheering us on just as we're gonna cheer you on uh, in the same way. We also wanted to invite you to next year's Crucial Catch game uh, in October. Oh my gosh, this is just so exciting. Thank you guys. You don't only have uh, you know the support of the whole Ravens organization, I think uh, this message will get out there and you're gonna have the support of the, the whole city. We're lucky to have you as a fan and uh, you, you absolutely have a fan in me. I mean, she was just speechless. And for Lindsay, she is not one to be speechless ever. And it really just, her whole face lit up. It really made her decade, I should say. 
hopefully we can be a, a bright spot in your day because uh, when I heard your story, you certainly became a bright spot in mine and everybody here at the Ravens uh, organization is absolutely pulling for, for you and your family and just getting a chance to talk with you right now is a bright spot in my day, so thank you. We got you and you got this. Oh, that means a lot. <laughs> thank you guys, it means the world, it really does.